Hi Matt, it's Sally from Stuff Ambassadors here. I wanted to make you a video to answer your question to me. Um, you're a runner and a cyclist, you, you do a, a lot of long distance running, you're getting into ultras. Um, and you told me that you suffer from lower back pain a lot and you also think that your posture needs improvement. Now, lower back pain issues are really common, especially in long distance runners and cyclists. And the reason for this is that in a lot of people, particularly runners, um, the glutes, so these, these big muscles on our butt and the hamstrings, um, don't work nearly as hard as they should do. And because of that, the other muscles surrounding them, like the lower back muscles, end up doing um, a lot more work, work that they shouldn't be doing. They become overworked, they become achy, and eventually this can lead to injury uh, because those muscles are doing work that they shouldn't be doing. So um, often the solution to back pain is actually to work on the glutes and the hamstrings, but the glutes in particular, get them really active, get them working. They're very, very important in gait, in running gait. It's important that the glutes are working properly. Um, and also, uh, if you can get stronger glutes, more active glutes, that's gonna help your posture as well, because it's gonna take pressure off the lower back. So my message to you is, you need to make sure your glutes are, are working properly and are active and are strong. So I've got some exercises to help you do just that. I split them up into two. So there's some exercises that you can do pre-run as an activation as part of your warm-up and that's going to make your glutes perform better when you then go for your run. And the other exercises are exercises that you can do at a different time, so maybe at home, maybe on a different day, maybe after your run and they're more, more about kind of strengthening exercises. So I hope you enjoy. Take it away. Okay Matt, so I said I would give you exercises that are quite simple to do and this is the first of the pre-run exercises. So this is what you would do um, either indoors or maybe outdoors before you go for a run. All you need is a wall, We've got a lovely wall here. Um, what you want to do is set your feet um, shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider um, if you've got narrow shoulders. And the leg that's closest to the wall, you're going to put your knee onto the wall. And the other knee, you're going to bend that and then you're going to push both knees out really, really hard for a nice slow count of 10. And whilst you're doing that, you want to make sure that this outside knee stays right over your toe. So it's not, you don't want it to drop in, you want to push out really, really hard. And you want to try and keep your body as close to the center as you can. So driving those knees out for a nice slow count of 10 and then relax. And then you would turn around and do the other side. And I, reckon, uh, I recommend that you do two reps on each leg. Okay, Matt, the next part of your prep is going to be a single leg squat to a bench. Or, or anything that's like a bench height. All you need to do is lift one leg off the floor, have it out in front of you, and then you're going to sit back, like you're trying to sit back onto a chair. As soon as you feel the bench below you, come back up. So sit back, touch, drive up. Sit back, touch, drive up. And you see I'm keeping this leg off the floor, so there's constant tension in the working leg. And that working leg is working really hard to keep my balance, to keep me stable, to keep the knee over the toe. I'm driving up, so this is a pretty good one for, uh, for general stability and balance all throughout that leg. And then obviously you would do the other leg as well. I recommend 10 reps on each side, two to three sets. And uh, it's really good to do single leg exercises when you're trying to build strength for running or cycling because you'll quite often have um, imbalances between sides. So there might be strength imbalances. There might be kind of little niggles and one side might be tighter than the other. So by working uh, one side, each side separately, it means that the weaker side or the more compromised side is forced to work harder. It can't just take a break 
and let the other side do all the work. And of course, running and, and also cycling are um, unilateral um, uh, movements. You know, you've got one foot going down as the other's going up. So you're actually constantly, you know, on one leg. So doing the single leg exercises is a, a really good idea just to kind of build that strength and stability in both legs. Okay, Matt, the last of your pre-run activation exercises. It's a single leg deadlift to toe touch, I call it. But basically what it is, is again, you wanna be on one leg. You bend the, uh, bend the right knee slightly. And then I'm gonna point my heel to the ceiling and take this leg back and incline forward. So almost like, a, like an aeroplane shape. And with this right hand, I'm going to reach forward and try and touch my toe and stretching my right leg out behind me. So it's quite a balanced challenge. So here pointing to the ceiling, stretching down, touching this toe and coming back up. You know just with the left leg, I've got my knee slightly bent, but otherwise I'm not bending the knee that much. So when you go down you should feel quite a big stretch in your hamstring. Very good for the hamstrings this one. Nice hamstring stretch on the left leg there and then coming back up again trying to keep all the tension on the working leg. Here's another angle on the toe touch. So pushing my right heel up to the ceiling, dropping the right hand to the floor I'm pushing my right heel up until I can feel that, that right glute contracting and then coming back, squeezing the left glute on the way up. It's a bit of a tricky one that one, um, potentially some embarrassing moments when you first try it kind of wobbling all over the place, but if you do it on a regular basis um, you'll get very very stable, you'll get quite strong and uh, it's a really good way to both activate and stretch those muscles before you go for your run.